Welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. Today I'm so happy to be showing you a very cool collaboration, which is the Doc Martens Raph Simmons boots. So let's get right into it. But before we get going, I've looked into it and a very, very tiny percentage of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So it doesn't cost you anything. If you like the content I make, just click that subscribe button and I thank you profusely. So first, let's get a look at the box. It's fairly large, measuring about 13 and a half by 11 and a half inches. And centered right there in the middle, you can see the logo lockup. It's Dr. Martin's Airwear 60 years centered under that, then a dashed yellow line. And under that, even with that line, you've got the Raph Simmons logo. And due to some wear from shipping, you get a really good idea of the texture of the box. It feels mostly smooth, but you can see it does have this kind of corrugation pattern from the cardboard. Both of the long sides are blank. And the bottom does have some small typeface in the top left. So this is just a lot of kind of trademark information. Then at the bottom it's talking about how it's made from recycled cardboard. And you've got a little recycling symbol down there on the right. One of the short sides is blank, but the other side has all of this good info here. So we've got three stickers. On the lip, we've got this rectangular white sticker, and it's just talking about the model, Dr. Martin's Eight Holes Boots, 100% cow leather, black, QR code down there, uh, made in China, tag 10, that's the UK size. And I'm assuming this could be the retailer sticker here. In the bottom right, we've got another white sticker, which is Raf Simmons, Spring Summer 20. Model number, 100% cow leather, italicized. Dr. Martin's high boot with rings, size 10, again UK, and then a barcode. And this one right here is the important sticker, the kind of uh, Doc Martin's actual sticker. And obviously this is one of the 1460 collaborations that Doc Martin's has been doing a lot of for the 60th anniversary of the boot. This one obviously with Raph Simmons. You got your color underneath that, model number here, and then smooth. You get an outline of the shoe and a barcode, and then you get all your sizing information here. First UK, then US men's, US women's, and EU size. One thing I will note here is usually a US 11 or UK 10 would be an EU 44, but in this case it is a 45 and that is correct for Doc Martens apparently. Down at the bottom, AF 500, Raph Simmons, model. Now let's open these up and see what we got. All right, so we do have a couple tags here. Let's take a look at those. So first we have a kind of slightly glossy, but mostly matte black piece of cardstock with that same lockup that we saw on the box itself. But do note the kind of brass or copper metal grommet here. Usually it's just a hole punch, but this one actually has a piece of metal in there. The back is blank, except for the bottom, it's got the Doc Martens website. And then here you've got a kind of mm, tan piece of cardboard, again with that grommet there, and the Doc Martens logo. And that is embossed, you can feel that. Or actually, rather, I think it's debossed. On the back of that, it has their website and Facebook, interestingly. That's the first time I think I've seen a brand put their Facebook on one of their tags. When we open that up, it's got a card inside, kind of attached in there with that grommet, talking about the smooth leather. And then on the back, you've got that same information in French. I'll also note that inside the box, inside the main part, you do have your measurements there. And the stock paper is white, but it's covered in that Doc Martens logo. Now let's get a good look at this boot. So it is, as it said on all the tags, a smooth leather. Nice and finished, kind of glossy too. And printed in silver, you've got the Doc Martens X Raph Simmons logo right there, right under this top ring. And speaking of the rings, they are silver, and you can see how they're attached in there with a little loop. The grommets for the laces are black plastic, it feels like. And you can see how tough it is to stitch through this leather because the stitches are really tough and kind of rough, as you can see, it takes some work to get through those. But at the same time, the stitches are very clean. Taking a look at the back of the shoe, you've got this counter here in a couple pieces, and it's kind of like a bottle shape. It thickens, and it gets smaller as it goes up. And you get your pull tab here on the back, 
with bouncing soles in the, uh, yellow and airwear on the front. And that's an embroidered loop tag. You can see the inverse inside those. Now if we take a look at the edge of this piece for the leather, you can see that this is rough, but then when you get to the heel, they round it. So you can see those pieces where they round it right here. And the tongue is just a blank piece of leather. You can see it's got the rough cut there. Now let's look at the sole. Of course, look at how clean those stitches are, those yellow stitches, the signature ones there. Really nice. And look at that cut going into the heel. And look at that texture of that rubber in the sole. And you can see the texture inside the sole. And then it's smooth there, and you've got the original. And then your Doc Martens logo. And you can see the cells inside of that. And they do have some letters in them, interestingly. That might be a good giveaway there. And at the heel, it continues that tread pattern. Inside the tongue, it is rougher, the back side of that leather. And printed in silver, you've got all your size information. Then Dr. Martin's 1460 Raf Simmons, made in Thailand. And on the insole there, you can see that same logo lockup, Dr. Martin's 60 years with the line and then Raf Simmons. Now let's put these things on and see how they fit. So these fit great. So these look awesome as you can see, but as I noted earlier, they do fit pretty large. So I would suggest sizing down by a half size, if not more. And I think that would be a more comfortable fit for you. The one other thing I'll add is that these things are a nightmare to break in. Take it from me. The first times you're wearing them out, definitely wear some nice thick high socks to kind of protect your, your calves there. So that is how you tell the difference between a real and a fake pair of Raph Simmons Doc Martens boots. Take a look at the other video on screen here, subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I will see you next time.